Number 10. Erasmus. Erasmus remained on our minds for many years. Erasmus is considered to be the founder of the Reformation, famed for his learned collections and great biblical texts. He has always inspired us in a lot of ways. Number 9. Swift. It is said that 11,000 persons suffered from death rather than breaking their eggs. Swift is a remarkable satirist of the history. Jonathan Swift is best known today for Gulliver's travels, and his writings are simply the best. What do you feel? Number 8. Voltaire. Voltaire is one of the greatest satirists in history. It is one of the wittiest men in an age of wits. The quality of this satirist has been superb and top-notch. Pangloss has explained a lot about it. Number 7. Ambrose Bierce. Ambrose Bierce is another fantastic satire you must know about. He has divided opinion on his merits. I cannot call him vulgar like many other people, but he is simply unique. What do you feel? Number 6. Orwell. It is said that all animals are equal, but some are certainly prominent. The theory of communism is alluring. George Orwell, the product of an upper-middle-class background and Eaton, has been one of the greatest satirists in history. He was a keen observer. Number 5. Matt Stone and Trey Parker Matt Stone and Trey Parker are among the best satirists. Both have worked for creating great satiric force. South Park has said its satiric sites. Number 4. Aristophanes. Aristophanes is one of the finest satirists ever. Classical Athens was a deeply political city. It has much to talk about special events, religious values, and festivals of the world. Number 3. Plato. Plato is another great and top-notch satirist. This young man used to write dramas, and had much interest in philosophy and theories. Number 2. Juvenal. Juvenal is another satirist to talk about. Like Athens, Juvenal is not to be missed. The style of this satirist has always been unique. Do you know about Juvenal? Number 1. Chaucer. Chaucer is one of the greatest satirists in history. Chaucer's Canterbury Tales has been a top-notch poem of English. It offers us an insight of the medieval mind and the social situation of a wide slice of society.